Hello, hope everyone's well. Um, I'm back again with another tortoise video. We're going to wake my hibernating tortoise up. He's been hibernating for four months in the fridge. And yeah, let's go. Okay, you know the score. It's time to take Herman out of the fridge. So Herman has been hibernating in the fridge for four months now. Um, the reason uh, we keep them in the fridge, the long story short, is it keeps them at a stable temperature. So this is Herman's fridge. We don't keep any food in it or anything. We have a little digital thermometer to keep an eye on him. And this is him in a little shoe box. So we'll take him out. Here we go. See how he's doing. So here we go, I've wrapped him up in these papers and I've been weighing him every week or so and just checking in. Here he is. And as you can see, he's moving very, very slowly. So what we'll do is we'll put him down and we'll just give him a chance to kind of um, come up to temperature, come up to room temperature, like a ball of wine, and slowly wake him up. So we're just gonna do a little time lapse just now while he wakes up. Um, usually takes him about 10 minutes or so to open his eyes and then about another half hour or so before he starts to look a bit more alert. And then we'll give him a, a little bath to kind of hydrate him and stuff like that. Okay, so Herman's a bit more alert now. So we're going to give him a little bath. It's just a very shallow tub of lukewarm water with a bit of Reptiboost. It's like a... Um, it's like a kind of supplement for reptiles, which is good for tortoises who have just woken up. So we'll stick you in, pal. Ooh. Still quite heavy. And remember, hydration is very important for tortoises. They need to drink, they need to get baths a lot of the time. And he hasn't drank anything in four months, so it's good to let him kind of soak up the water a little bit, get hydrated. And then hopefully we'll be back to normal in a couple of hours. Okie doke. And that's how I had his little bass. I'm sat in it for a bit. And he already looks a wee bit more perky, which is good. So we'll dry him off. And then what we'll do is we'll put him in his little enclosure and get him under his heat lamps and his UV light. And he probably won't eat today, he'll probably eat tomorrow. But yeah, we'll keep a little eye on him. Seems good. Back to normal. And there he is. Happy as laddie. Like nothing happened. Still a bit grumpy. Welcome back, pal. You know, I've been doing these videos for five years now, and it's always so interesting to look back on kind of and think about how things have changed or how I've changed. But it's funny, I think like Herman's like a, he feels like a constant, like he doesn't change at all. It's, <laughs> it's the same, it's the same Herman doing the, doing his same little routine. Um, and I'm still fascinated how this animal can hibernate, can just go away for four months without eating and um, even go in the fridge for four months and then, you know, wake up, take a little while to wake up. But once he's up, it's just like, it's like nothing's, nothing's happened. It's crazy. Um, as per, I always get a lot of questions when I do these videos. The big one's a fridge one. Um, why a fridge and can he breathe in a fridge and yes he can breathe in a fridge 
he's his breathing slows down loads when he's in hibernation and um, his heart rate slows down so he doesn't really breathe a lot um, but I still let Aiden every day and I still take him out and weigh him every week uh, just to check his weight and check there's nothing nothing weird going on and yeah wire fridge is just it keeps the temperature stable I feel like it's more kind of I think people think it's more natural to hibernate them outside or in the in the ground or in a shed but really I, th I feel that's more dangerous because the temperature can fluctuate so much so if it goes say above like 10 degrees they might get up early and then maybe starve and you won't catch them getting up early or if it goes below freezing uh, they might freeze to freeze to death which is nasty obviously so <laughs> the fridge is a good method just to keep it at that constant kind of nice kind of goldilocks range of about five degrees and i've got a little thermostat on the on the fridge to keep an eye on that oh yeah i forgot to mention and um, we also have a little addition to the family me and my partner got a dog uh, her name's molly she's a little rescue and she's two years old a lot of people always ask how molly and herman get on and honestly they're just fine um, herman just doesn't really bother <laughs> bother with her which is is just his way he doesn't really bother with anyone really and molly just thinks that herman's this this rock that moves about sometimes so they get on totally fine they don't really bother each other or even play with each other or anything so fine by me so that kind of wraps up our video for uh, this year if you have any questions or anything uh, let us know in the comments and i'll do my best to get back to everyone and um, i'll put in some links and stuff in the description of where you can find me elsewhere on social media and stuff and i also do streaming on twitch now where i do my art and stuff but if you want to come in the chat and talk about tortoises i'd be more than happy <laughs> okay everyone have a good one take care i'll see you soon